What's poppin' y'all, it's John here with Runners Elite and uh, we're going to be going through a cross country gear drop video today and it's just gonna be a quick overview of the shoes, clothes, shirts, and all that that we get for the cross country season and what we'll be wearing during competition. So uh, let's get to it. All right, y'all, so we got the gear laid out on the bed, as y'all can see, and we're just gonna go through it quick and uh, talk about them and just see how we're liking them, so. <clears throat> First, we'll start out with this T-shirt that says Edge on it. It's in D's T-shirt. We got the wolf on the back, of course. And uh, this T-shirt, it's a, I had to get a large in it for some reason. It's a different fit than my other one. It's got like a longer, weird back, but uh, it's overall a good shirt, be good to run in and good to have. And it's really, the whole athletic uh, department got this shirt, but uh, it's got something to do with like just getting the edge on your opponents or whatever, so it's just a uh, keep the motto on the chest. And uh, next we'll get into, I believe this is our weightlifting shirt. It says track and field, as you can see, not cross country, but uh, we'll be using it in cross country for lifting. And you can see Adidas on the sleeve, gotta have the Adidas everywhere. And on the back, it's got some interesting font, but uh, nonetheless, it's kind of cool. Every rep counts, which I guess is true. Yeah, so um, another nice shirt. It, uh, it's a different material than my other ones too. It's more of a dry fit material, and the other one's kind of lighter. So it's a good shirt that I have to kind of change up the material of the Adidas gear you usually wear, so nice shirt for the weight gear lifting. And uh, we'll stay on the top of the tops, and uh, like the shirts, but this one, this is probably one of my favorite pieces of gear that we've gotten, and I've actually never put this on yet, so. It's gonna be a first. This is a uh, just a half zip, quarter zip, whatever, uh, third zip, whatever uh, you call these. But be it. It looks like it's gonna be light enough to kind of run around in in the colder days and uh, to wear the meats. So as you can see, we got some ventilation in the arms underneath, or I don't know if you can see, but it's a nice ventilation system here, some bowls, as well as some. White strands. Don't really know what that's for, but it looks cool. And uh, let's see what else we can find on here. It actually has a goo pocket on the side, or as we like to use the gushers, that wraps a little bit. It's a nice size pocket right there, so if you're in the run, you need to pop out some gushers mid long run. You always got a pocket to do so, and as well as the ventilation on the side. You can see the little wolf back here, which is kind of cool. You see people behind you. They're eating your dust. You can show them the wolf. And uh, just cross country and a wolf, another wolf on the front. So let's see what else we got to work with over here. Uh, another pair of tights. Use these for training or racing or whatever. It's just another pair of basic Adidas tights we use. So have those always. I'm not going to put those on right now for the video. But uh, we got these shorts as well for weightlifting. It looks like some nice shorts. These ones actually have some solid looking pockets. The last ones we had last year were kind of some like front pockets. I don't know, some weird stuff. But just some basic Adidas Climalite back shorts. Throw those on. Might as well. See how they feel? Felt them yet? Okay. Not too long either, which is nice. As a runner, you don't want them too far over the knee or close to the knee, and it's flirting with a good length, so that's good to have. And uh, the last bottom we'll have is these Climacool Adidas pants, tapered fit. It says typical football fit, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's got a white stripe on the side as well as some ventilation. As well as, as well as the Adidas logo, so let's throw these on and see how they're fitting right now. Because I honestly don't know. Which I mean, they're a little, a little baggy, but they fit well. 
I kind of like my pants baggy, so got the whole cross country gear on, ready to hit a meet. And uh, let's see, what else is Next, we're going to be getting into the shoes that we've been given. And uh, we've been told that we have a pair of Audios 4s coming in soon, which are an Adidas flat, more for our distance stuff, or not distance stuff, but track workouts and things of those nature, faster stuff. So we'll still have those coming in. But right now, we're working with the Boston 8s, which these are the brand new Bostons. They're a pretty clean shoe. They're more of a lightweight trainer, and uh, they'll get the job done on the quicker runs. As you can see there, we got a nice plate in the bottom, to give you a little extra pop on the runs. Got some of these uh, Adi Zero Cross Country S uh, spikes. Some nice spikes, just the basic Adidas Cross Country spikes. The colorway this year has definitely got an upgrade, so. As you can see there, it's kind of got like some mesh see-through on the side. I don't know if you can see that in the light, but it looks nice. And it'll be a good fast shoe to have on the cross-country course. Thanks for watching. That's going to do it for the cross country gear drop today. I appreciate y'all for coming through. And as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Wolf's up. And I'll check y'all later. So, peace. Honey cheese, I got it on smash. She